Shelly and Caitlin were really helpful in showing me how to get my Bitmoji classroom to remain a banner at the top of my course when my students log in because there are clickable links there that I'd like them to access pretty often. Uh, so I'm going to create a sample for you because there are a million steps and it's impossible to memorize. I don't know how they did. Uh, I'm going to go to my courses and click on lunch just as a practice uh, run. The first step you do is um, you click materials, add materials, add page, you title it whatever you want, and you click insert content and go to your Google Drive app. When I created my Bitmoji Classroom in Google Slides, um, Caitlin and Shelly recommended that I make it a Google Drawing instead. I think it just transfers easier. I'm not sure why, um, but here is the icon that I want to include. So notice this is a Google drawing. It's not my slides presentation of it. Um, I click that and you press import embed. And you see this yellow image here and the top left, you're gonna click anywhere. Just click the top left and there's a mountain icon. I'm going to change the dimensions of my image to make it larger on the screen when the students log in. I'm going to change this to 958 by 545. The reason I'm doing those measurements is because when I checked how large my Google Drawing image was by clicking File, Page Setup, and changing it from inches to pixels so I could see what these measurements were, this is what they were, 958 by 545. I'm going to unclick constrain proportions. I don't even know what that does, um, but Caitlin said unclick it, so I unclicked it. And I'm pressing insert to create it. You click on this link to get to your image, and you highlight your image as you would anything if you wanted to copy paste something. So I'm going to highlight, I'm going to try to highlight. Oh, now it's highlighted. I can see the blue here that it's highlighted. And I'm going to press uh, Command C to copy it. Now I go to Updates. And we're going to totally ignore this materials. But we're actually going to delete it later. We're going to totally ignore it. It's not important anymore. I'm going to go to Updates because that's where I get my banner to appear. In this Update box, I'm going to press Command V to paste my image there. And this is super important. At the bottom right before you click post, there is this little call out, like a thought bubble here. You have to select that and click this bell to, to make it a banner. Otherwise, it just appears as an announcement. And any other time you type any kind of update, this is going to get pushed all the way to the bottom. So it's very important that before you click post, you click this box here to make this. That is what makes the banner appear at the top always. And you click post and it's pretty large so kids can click on this if they want to this will get them to our online stories um, there are a lot of links here embedded and the, th the posters and stuff around the room now just because you don't need it ever again you can go back to materials and delete that page that you created the only reason we created that to begin with was so we had something to copy paste now we're going to delete that and it'll appear on the materials page but uh, I'm sorry, it'll disappear in the materials page, but you'll still see this banner because what makes that a banner is the update that we made. Uh, and we made sure to click that little yellow bell. I uh, hope this helps.